Hi, I'm Lisa K. Donner along with Andrew Moran, Sarah Cowgill, Kelly Ballard, and James Spite. And this is the Conservative Five, Liberty Nation's online TV news program. California Governor Gavin Newsom has a humdinger of an idea. Got the Second Amendment, then replace it with the new 28th Amendment. Liberty Nation's Jim Fight wrote, quote, Surely the very Constitution itself would never be rewritten in such a way that would turn the founders' ideal of individual liberty on its head, unquote. Yet here we are. Well, this announcement is nothing new. Others have tried to change the U.S. Constitution and failed on a seismic scale. How could an amendment possibly fail? Well, let's take a look back at the amendment that no longer exists. That would be the 18th, commonly known as the Prohibition Amendment. Jim, your article on Liberty Nation was enlightening. Please expound. Yeah, the the 18th Amendment. This was this is what happens when the nation gets swept up in a in a movement. Some they think it's a righteous movement. We're going to we're going to fiddle with liberty and fiddle with the framework of the country for for, you know, our own good. And uh I mean, it failed horribly. Crime skyrocketed. We, it, we, it was the birth of organized crime in this country, which then, of course, led to even bigger government to fight the organized crime. We got all of our federal gun control began there. Uh, it eventually got repealed 13 years later, but even then, it was illegal to homebrew beer and wine f- until the 1970s. And, uh, and, and it's still illegal to home distill. I mean, we still don't have all of the freedoms that we lost when prohibition went into effect. And we're still dealing with organized crime, gun control, and uh, a bloated government. So so what you're saying was the, the damage was done. 13. Oh, yeah, those, those scars will never heal. Yeah. Uh, Sarah, what's your feeling? I know you're very pro-prohibition, but let's... <laughs> Let's me, get me and bit. Kelly are going to discuss that oh, at the pub pro later. Prohibition. Uh, <laughs> um, Prohibition was ridiculous. It 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 is it, it did exactly what Jim said. Um, and then not only that, but all those darn criminals from Chicago would come down around my area where there was a nice, you know, sulfur spring resort, and they'd bring all their cronies to hide out down there. So, you know, we were subjected to this. There's tunnels all over um the property where I live for for the Al Capone guys and their and their henchmen. My my grandma even dated one. So, you know, you've got you you bring an element in to society and then it spreads. And this is what they've done. And this is what prohibition did. And it didn't stop anybody from drinking. It started speakeasies. It started um, hooch tunnels. It, it did everything but stop people from drinking. So you can't legislate morality and you cannot legislate um, gun control because then the only people that will have guns are the people you don't want to have guns. Jim, let's back up for a second and just find out a little bit. What exactly is Gavin Newsom suggesting in this 28th Amendment? Well, see, that's the, uh, what is it, uh, as the the late, great Herman Herman Cain used to say, the devil's in the details, right? Right. There aren't really any details. There there isn't like a, a bill text or anything. He just has a proposal that we should have a 28th Amendment. Now, what he wants is, is, a, is a lot of what's going on in California right now. Uh, assault weapon ban. Of course, I mean, that's the obvious one. Raise the uh, purchase, the minimum purchasing age for firearms to 21. Um, magazine size cap, mandated waiting period, a, a, a quote, reasonable waiting period, which is undefined. Who knows what that'll end up being. Uh, universal background checks, basically the progressive wish list of uh, of gun control, everything short of just saying, hey, no guns. And, and and all of this, by the way, is supposed to respect the Second Amendment. Andrew, you're up there in Canada where there's a whole yeah. lot of gun control. Um, talk to us a little bit about where you feel this should go in the United States based on where you live now. Well, before I go, I I, I would just like to uh, say that the uh, chances of my uh, 28th Amendment passing are lower than uh, my state's education scores. But in Canada, I mean, there's a lot of pushback uh, at the federal government's clamping down on guns, especially when it comes to the rural communities of Canada, particularly, surprisingly, First Nations, because under Trudeau, he wanted to ban hunter hunting rifles. But since the uh, na- uh, First, na- uh, First Nations 
uh, depend a lot on these hunting rifles for sport, for food. There was a lot of huge pushback against that. And now you're having cities who are clamping down on, on handgun weapons like Toronto. So, but, you know, I'm a libertarian. I, you know, I'm, I'm pro second amendment. I, I don't care if anyone has, you know, tanks or uh, <laughs> nuclear weapons. Right. I don't care about those things. Those things don't bother me at all. But on the topic of <laughs> prohibition, <clears throat> I would push back that at least prohibition brought us those great James Cagney movies, you know, and Humphrey Bogart, you know, the Roaring Twenties, that, <laughs> uh, you know, the uh, big, a uh, big sleep. All those pictures brought brought us a lot of those. And also, uh, there was a great part in James' article, which I do recommend all our lovely readers to read. Uh, he wrote that in the early days of prohibition, the law worked, and then he went to talk about the, the rise of criminal gangs and speakeasies. Now. If you had a prohibition of guns, let's say there was complete ban on on on, on weapons uh, by the federal government, that would not stop syndicated organized cr- uh, criminal gangs from using 3D printers to print these so-called ghost guns. So you, you never pre- right. never never underestimate the market innovation to come up with all these ideas to circumvent right. these laws and bans and print you know 3D guns as an example. For those who don't speak canada ease um first nation is like our indian reservation oh just sorry so yeah, yeah. Just, just just thank you for <laughs> explaining that but the only person on our panel who's really a californian is miss kelly ballard what say you i think the more control you try to put on guns the more out of control it's going to get the more black markets the more people are going to be selling them here and there and crime is going to increase with that and the people who want to defend themselves, their families, their properties, aren't going to have the protection to do so, but the bad guys do. So I think it's ridiculous to try and change the Constitution, especially um, like Jim, you were saying in your article, how many uh, times have they tried to change uh, amendments? Oh, uh, I mean, there have been over 11,000 proposed amendments. Wow. Yeah, a lot. You have actually made it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a tough sell. It's yeah, not an easy thing to, to alter the, the Constitution. I think it was 33 that made it to congressional vote, maybe. Yeah. Not very, yeah. So I don't think, it, especially since it doesn't have any teeth, it does. it's very vague. His 28th Amendment is very vague. I think he's just trying to get some numbers for the Democrats and possibly for himself. Or maybe he's just trying to get a little bit of attention there. Well, yeah. mm. if so, we fell into that trap. Well, there you have it, folks. Newsom's <laughs> idea is just another bad idea for America. Shocking, I know. And now I think it's happy hour somewhere. See you at the bar. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Bye. <laughs> That's it for our Conservative 5 panel today. Check out our other C5 shows and segments on your favorite video platform, YouTube, Vimeo, Rumble, or on them all. As well, Liberty Nation has its own new and improved Roku channel, where you can see all of our TV productions. Special thanks to our executive producer, Sarah Cowgill, and our editor and post coordinator, Frank DiOrio. I'm Lisa K. Donner, editor-in-chief. Thanks for joining us today. Free thinking, free speech, libertynation.com. <laughs>